there's, there, there are young people and, and older people, there are all kinds of people who want Yiddish theater to continue. There are, there are companies in Israel, there are a couple of companies in New York. There's the Folkspino, which is the big, bigger company, but there's also the Yiddish Repertory Theater, which does, you know, kind of more grassroots Yiddish theater, which is beautiful. I just saw a, a beautiful production of theirs. And, um, and there's the Yiddish theater in Montreal. So there's theater, you know, is it the theater that was that those people that I knew did? It's not, it's different. It's a new time. It's a new emphasis. It's a new, uh, uh, but it's connected because uh, it's, it's not memorializing anybody. The, the Yiddish theater doesn't memorialize anybody. But Yiddish theater is, is a medium to the culture. Mm -hmm. It's like a window to a world, okay? It's, I used to say Yiddish theater is a mirror to the Jewish soul and a window to the Jewish past. So, and that's what I feel about it. And, and um, you know, not to say that everything created in Yiddish has to be about the past. It doesn't. But, but um, you know, it, it's more poignant when you attend a play and you come out feeling connected to the big mass of people that once spoke Yiddish. Mm -hmm. that's, the, that's the point. You know, it's not enough to be connected to just the people who are there in the audience. It has to be a bigger connection.